you want to become a successful trainer, embrace the empty bucket mentality. Imagine your mind is like a bucket when you're trading. To make room for smart decisions and profits, you need to empty out any emotional baggage, any fears and old ideas. Just like you cannot pour fresh water into a full bucket, you cannot learn and grow if your mind is full with past experiences. Keep your mind open and ready to learn. Always take a moment to clear out any emotional attachments from past trades, allowing you to approach each new trade with a fresh and open mindset. Hey there, Tom here from FibonaciTraders.com here with the weekly market review. Please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends and without any further ado, let's see the charts. Halfway through September, 451 is still a very tough resistance. On the other side, 442 is holding a support together with this purple trend line. This purple trend line goes all the way back to October of 2022 and since then holding the higher lows. For now, still holding, but we do have lower highs from July's peak. If this area, the 442, together with this purple trend line, will fail to hold, we are heading towards a double top scenario validation, towards the 435. Below it, we are heading towards 420 and then 410. QQQ, another week, another inside candle, 369 is holding. This trend line also hold it, still holding since January of 2023. It's holding the higher lows, but we do have here, same as the SPY, double top, multi-top scenario. If this, if this red trend line will fail to hold, we're heading towards the 356. 356 needs to hold, otherwise this multi-top scenario will get validated and we are heading towards the 337 and maybe all the way back to 310. This double top scenario multi-top scenario will get negated only a weekly close above 388 and then bulls can breathe again dow jones same thing moving sideways as we can clearly see 344 holding 350 resistance we have a trend line that helps us to identify that for now we are still in an uptrend because we have higher lows below this area a weekly close below this Y trend line below the 344 and we are heading towards 337 we need a weekly close above the 350 and then we can breathe once again towards the 356 and maybe towards 365 I'm very interesting to know what you think where the overall market is going towards Q4 of 2023. Believe it or not, U4 is just around the corner. IWM 181 is holding. Below it, we are heading towards this red trend line. Long continuation for the IWM only above the 198. We can clearly see that the IWM is having higher lows lower highs which means the range the price range of iwm is getting tighter and tighter one way or another this price range will get a break to the downside or to the upside always prepare for both sides if this goes south we can take fibonacci swing low swing high to the downside and we will see 165 and maybe towards 136 once again above this triangle you can call it if you want a weekly close two weeks above the 200 area and we are heading towards 216 and then 230 bitcoin and the weekly still nothing much four weeks in a row holding above the 24 600 below it we're heading towards this area you can see the 22700 which is also the 50% retracement we have this downtrend line and we have this uptrend line so all this area will be the next major support for bitcoin 
we need a weekly close above this trend line over here above this purple trend line above the 27500 or the 28 and then maybe we are heading back to the 31700 but if you're a pattern seeker if you always say price goes back to where it was before so we need a weekly week or two above the 31700 because we can see left shoulder head and maybe right shoulder in the making follow price never be biased ethereum holding barely this white trend line this white trend line is holding the higher lows since june of 2022 but we have this red line that's holding as a very tough resistance for the lower highs since november of 2021 almost two years of downtrend on ethereum price range also here getting very tight always prepare for both sides this is why we have fibonacci that gives us the support and resistance for future price action oil unstoppable since it broke above this red red zone now heading towards the 9541 you know all these levels because we drew all these levels way back and now 80 87 needs to hold the support 93 will become the next major resistance natural gas nothing much all this area let's clean the chart everything and just leave this red zone this red zone is a very tough resistance for the natural gas bulls long only above this one if break below the 244 area all this area over here breaking below it we are heading back to 196 sox trying but looks like bulls are giving up this uptrend channel as you can see broke below close the weekly below this channel 482 needs to hold and bulls needs to go back inside and next week close above the 502 otherwise we are heading directly towards the 452 and then 406 because we have a multi-top scenario over here as you can see this 520 area all this area very tough resistance since beginning of june KRE holding above the 43 area with a doji long continuation above 46 towards the 50 and then 61 will be next below it we are heading towards 39 and then 34 but overall we have on the short term we have higher highs higher lows we can draw we can draw an uptrend now let's see continuation above the 45 46 area towards 49 and then 54 to the higher trend line over here of course everything you see and hear on this channel is for educational purposes only always do your own due diligence never follow blindly anyone on social media you can follow to get ideas it's perfectly fine but in the end of the day it's your money take care of your money apple 171 needs to hold otherwise we're heading towards this trend line the lower trend line towards the 166 area long continuation on apple only above this trend line over here overall we have lower highs lower lows since the peak of july if you want to take your trading journey to the highest level i have two programs first one-on-one -on -one live mentorship program available in english and in hebrew and the same program but pre-recorded available in english and in hebrew both programs I guarantee lifetime access for support, guidance, all Discord channels, both programs. Now, special discount, 25% off, because I want each and every one of you to stop following others, including myself, 
to tell you what to do, where to buy, where to sell, and what to do with open positions. I want you to become your own indicator and be able to take smart decisions for your own financial freedom. Amazon, if you saw previous weekly market reviews in the past few weeks or so, you know all these lines. You know everything here. I did not change nothing. And still, 142, very tough resistance. In the middle of the week, we thought, here we go, Amazon breaking above it. But then came Friday. So we need a weekly close above the 142, 143 area. And then we are out of the woods, out of this area towards the 160, 158 area. 131 needs to hold. Otherwise, we have 126 and 120 to the downside. We don't need Fibonacci. We don't need nothing. All we have to do is train our eyes to look left and try to identify major areas for resistance and support. Meta trend lines helps us to identify the trend. And the trend on Meta for now, since July's peak, is to the downside. Two consecutive dojis, we might get a retracement continuation towards the 286. Below 286, we are heading towards 265 area. You can also take Fibonacci, but I want to help you to see clear price clean your charts and then you can see clean price action no need fibonacci no need nothing candlestick analysis trend lines look left where price might be heading next 324 tough resistance look left it was a very important level of support resistance now once again resistance breaking below this area as you can see, below this area over here, you have this low, this low, and this low. Now, below 286, we are heading towards 269, 265 to the downside. Google, relative strength this past week, but 138 is still a resistance area. 133 together with this white trend line is a very important level of support because this trend line goes all the way back to march of 2023 holding the higher lows two consecutive dojis let's see if bulls of google have enough power to break above the 138 140 if you want and then we are heading towards 144 breaking below this area and we are heading towards 130 and then 125 always prepare for both sides tesla also nice week held very nice relative strength 259 holding as support this 259 was a resistance in the past two weeks last week held the support now let's see if tesla can go all the way towards this purple trend line this purple trend line will act as a very tough resistance why because we look left and we can see that this purple trend line goes all the way back to november of 2021 two years back holding as a tough resistance for the lower highs on the other side we have this purple trend line that goes way all the way towards january of 2023 not towards backwards to january of 2023 holding the higher lows which means and we also can look we can see that the price range on tesla is getting tighter and tighter break above a weekly close above 300 and tesla will fly towards 360 and then 453 below this area below this trend line over here 231 will be the next support that needs to hold otherwise we are heading towards 153 once again this is what i see this is my point of view 
you can, you must do your own due diligence. AMD, clear trend lines, clear downtrend, 110 failing to break above. Now, 97 is next. Below it, we are heading towards, sliding down towards the 91 area. Overall, if you are looking to go long on AMD, wait for a week or two above this downtrend channel. Microsoft, let's clean the chart. Let's follow price. Let's see what price is telling us. For now, since January, we have this trend line that's holding nicely also in the past four or five weeks, holding nice the higher lows. But we still have this area, the 351 area, very tough resistance. Breaking below this one here, we are heading towards the 311. Below 311, we can take Fibonacci, where price might be heading next. Below 311, 310, 300, in my opinion, will not hold. And then we are heading towards the 287. Long continuation, only a weekly close above 341 to the upside. Netflix, bulls gave up, bears came in strong, very bearish week on Netflix, breaking below this uptrend channel. This uptrend channel, you know it, it goes all the way back to June of 2022. And we said a few weeks back that if this 450 area, will bulls will fail to break one time after another, they will give up. Since June, three months, bulls tried, failed one time after another, and they gave up. And once bulls are giving up, bears are coming in full power. Now we are heading towards the 383. Below it, we can take Fibonacci. Below the 383, 377 needs to hold. Below it, 361, and then 340 and 315. To the downside never be biased anything can happen no one knows what will happen next but with high probability by really understanding in-depth candlestick analysis trend lines and fibonacci we can know where price might be heading next of course nothing is 100 percent guarantee but with high probability we can understand it nvidia same goes on nvidia all this area all this red zone very tough resistance on nvidia since july one time after another bulls tried failed past week gave up now towards the 401 is the next support below 401 the same bullish trend we had over here we will get the reverse we'll we'll get bearish towards 321 we need a weekly close a week or two even above the 502 and then we are heading towards 590 shopify if you saw previous videos we said that if bulls of shopify will fail to break above the 6970 area we will get the same price action we got over here to the upside we will get the same price action but to the downside and here we are it's getting validated one week after another 59 now needs to hold below it 56 53 below 53 and the road towards we can take fibonacci once again below 53 51 area we are heading towards 48 and then 39 to the downside so hope you found this video helpful if you did please hit the like subscribe share with friends don't forget to check the notification bell because more videos coming up during this weekend until the next video enjoy the rest of your weekend